In linear algebra, an inner product space is a vector space with an additional structure called an inner product. This additional structure associates each pair of vectors in the space with a scalar quantity known as the inner product of the vectors. Inner products allow the rigorous introduction of intuitive geometrical notions such as the length of a vector or the angle between two vectors. They also provide the means of defining orthogonality between vectors zero inner product. Inner product spaces generalize Euclidean spaces in which the inner product is the dot product, also known as the scalar product to vector spaces of any possibly infinite dimension, and are studied in functional analysis. The first usage of the concept of a vector space with an inner product is due to Pino. In 1898, an inner product naturally induces an associated norm, thus, an inner product space is also a normed vector space. A complete space with an inner product is called a Hilbert space. An incomplete space with an inner product is called a pre-Hilbert space, since its completion with respect to the norm induced by the inner product is a Hilbert space. Inner product spaces over the field of complex numbers are sometimes referred to as unitary spaces. <laughs> Definition. In this article, the field of scalars denoted f is either the field of real numbers r or the field of complex numbers c. Formally, an inner product space is a vector space v over the field f together with an inner product, i.e., with a map v times v f display style langle c d o t c d o t wrangle v times v to f that satisfies the following three axioms for all vectors x y z element of v and all scalars are element of f conjugate symmetry x y equals y x display style langle x y wrangle equals overline langle y x wrangle linearity in the first argument, a x, y equals a x, y x plus y, z equals x, z plus y, z display style begin aligned langle x, y wrangle and equals a langle x, y wrangle langle x plus y, z wrangle and equals langle x, z wrangle plus langle y, z wrangle end aligned positive definiteness, x, x 0 x, x equals 0 x equals 0 display style begin aligned langle x x wrangle and geq 0 langle x x wrangle and equals 0 left right arrow x equals math bf 0 end aligned topic alternative definitions notations and remarks Some authors, especially in physics and matrix algebra, prefer to define the inner product and the sesquilinear form with linearity in the second argument rather than the first. Then the first argument becomes conjugate linear, rather than the second. In those disciplines we would write the product x, y as y, x the bra ket notation of quantum mechanics, respectively y x dot product as a case of the convention of forming the matrix product A B as the dot products of rows of A with columns of B. Here the kets and columns are identified with the vectors of V and the brass and rows with the linear functionals co-vectors of the dual space V, with conjugacy associated with duality. This reverse order is now occasionally followed in the more abstract literature, taking x, y to be conjugate linear in x rather than y. A few instead find a middle ground by recognizing both, and, as distinct notations differing only in which argument is conjugate linear. There are various technical reasons why it is necessary to restrict the basefield to R and C in the definition. 
Briefly, the base field has to contain an ordered subfield in order for non-negativity to make sense, and therefore has to have characteristic equal to zero since any ordered field has to have such characteristic. This immediately excludes finite fields. The base field has to have additional structure, such as a distinguished automorphism. More generally any quadratically closed subfield of R or C will suffice for this purpose, e.g., the algebraic numbers or the constructible numbers. However in these cases when it is a proper subfield i.e., neither R nor C even finite dimensional inner product spaces will fail to be metrically complete. In contrast all finite dimensional inner product spaces over R or C, such as those used in quantum computation, are automatically metrically complete and hence Hilbert spaces. In some cases we need to consider non-negative semi-definite sesquilinear forms. This means that x, x is only required to be non-negative. We show how to treat these below. Topic: Elementary properties. When f equals r, conjugate symmetry reduces to symmetry. That is, x y equals y x for f. Topic: R while for f. C, X, Y is equal to the complex conjugate. Notice that conjugate symmetry implies that X, X is real for all X, since we have X X equals X X Display style Langle X, X, Wrangle equals overline Langle X, X, Wrangle Moreover, sesquilinearity see below implies that minus x x equals minus one x x equals minus one x x equals x minus x display style langle x x wrangle equals minus 1 langle x x wrangle equals overline minus 1 langle x x wrangle equals langle x x wrangle conjugate symmetry and linearity in the first variable gives x a y equals a y x equals a y x equals a x y x y plus Z equals Y plus Z X equals Y X plus Z x equals x y plus x z display style begin aligned Langle x a wrangle and equals overline Langle a x wrangle equals overline a overline Langle y x wrangle equals overline a Langle x y wrangle Langle x y plus z wrangle and equals overline Langle y plus z x wrangle equals overline Langle y X wrangle plus overline Langle Z X wrangle equals Langle X Y wrangle plus Langle X Z wrangle end aligned so an inner product is a sesquilinear form. 
Conjugate symmetry is also called Hermitian symmetry, and a conjugate symmetric sesquilinear form is called a Hermitian form. While the above axioms are more mathematically economical, a compact verbal definition of an inner product is a positive definite Hermitian form. In the case of f equals r, conjugate symmetry reduces to symmetry, and sesquilinear reduces to bilinear. So, an inner product on a real vector space is a positive definite symmetric bilinear form. From the linearity property it is derived that x topic 0 implies x x 0 while from the positive definiteness axiom we obtain the converse x x topic 0 implies x 0 combining these two we have the property that x x topic 0 if and only if x 0 Combining the linearity of the inner product in its first argument and the conjugate symmetry gives the following important generalization of the familiar square expansion x plus y x plus y equals x x plus x y plus y x plus y y Display style Langle x plus y, x plus y, Wrangle equals Langle x, x Wrangle plus Langle x, y Wrangle plus Langle y, x Wrangle plus Langle y, y Wrangle. Assuming the underlying field to be R, the inner product becomes symmetric, and we obtain x plus or minus y, x plus or minus y equals x, x plus or minus 2x, y plus y, y, display style, Langle x, PMY, x, PMY, Wrangle equals Langle x, x, Wrangle, PM2, Langle x, y, Wrangle plus Langle y, y, Wrangle, the property of an inner product space V that x plus y, z equals x, z plus y, z, x, y plus z equals x, y plus x, z display style begin aligned Langle x plus y, z wrangle and equals Langle x, z wrangle plus Langle y, z wrangle, Langle x, y plus z wrangle and equals Langle x, y wrangle plus Langle x, z wrangle end aligned is also known as additivity topic examples topic real numbers A simple example is the real numbers with the standard multiplication as the inner product x y equals x y display style langle x y wrangle equals x y topic Euclidean space More generally, the real n space Rn with the dot product is an inner product space, an example of a Euclidean n space. x 1 x n y 1 y n equals 
x t y equals i equals 1 n x i y i equals x 1 y 1 plus plus x n y n Display style left Langle begin B matrix x underscore one V D O T S x underscore N end B matrix begin B matrix Y underscore one V D O T S Y underscore N end B matrix right wrangle equals x carrot M A T H S F T Y equals sum underscore I equals one carrot N x underscore I Y underscore I equals x underscore underscore one Y underscore one plus C D O T S plus X underscore N Y underscore N where X T is the transpose of X. Topic Complex coordinate space The general form of an inner product on Cn is known as the Hermitian form and is given by x y equals y m x equals x m y Display style Langle Math BF x Math BF Y Wrangle equals Math BF Y carrot dagger Math BF M Math BF x equals overline Math BF x carrot dagger Math BF M Math BF Y where M is any Hermitian positive definite matrix and Y is the conjugate transpose of Y. For the real case this corresponds to the dot product of the results of directionally different scaling of the two vectors, with positive scale factors and orthogonal directions of scaling. Up to an orthogonal transformation it is a weighted sum version of the dot product, with positive weights. <laughs> Hilbert space. The article on Hilbert space has several examples of inner product spaces wherein the metric induced by the inner product yields a complete metric space. An example of an inner product which induces an incomplete metric occurs with the space C A B of continuous complex valued functions on the interval A B. The inner product is F G equals a b f t g t d t Display style Langle F G Wrangle equals int underscore a carrot b f t overline g t mathram d t this space is not complete. Consider, for example, for the interval minus one, one, the sequence of continuous step functions f k k defined by f k t equals zero t element of minus one, zero, one t element of one k, one k t t element of zero, one k. Display style f underscore k t equals begin cases zero and t in minus one, zero. 0 1 and t in left t f r a c 1 k 1 right k t and t in left 0 t f r a c 1 k right end cases this sequence is a cauchy sequence for the norm induced by the preceding inner product which does not converge to a continuous function topic 
Random variables For real random variables x and y, the expected value of their product x y equals e x y display style langle x y wrangle equals operator name e x y is an inner product in this case x x topic 0 if and only if p r x 0 topic 1 i e x 0 almost surely this definition of expectation as inner product can be extended to random vectors as well. Topic: <laughs> Real matrices. For real square matrices of the same size, A, B equals T R abd with transpose as conjugation. A, B equals b t a t display style left langle a b wrangle equals left langle b caret mathrm t a caret mathrm t right wrangle right is an inner product topic Vector spaces with forms On an inner product space, or more generally a vector space with a non-degenerate form so an isomorphism VV vectors can be sent to covectors in coordinates, via transpose, so one can take the inner product and outer product of two vectors, not simply of a vector and a covector. topic norms on inner product spaces a linear space with a norm such as x p equals i equals 1 infinity she i p 1 p x equals she i element of l p p does not equal 2 Display style x underscore p equals left sum underscore i equals one carrot inf t left she underscore i right carrot p right carrot frac one p q quad x equals left she underscore i right in l carrot p quad p n e q two is a normed space but not an inner product space, because this norm does not satisfy the parallelogram equality required of a norm to have an inner product associated with it. However, inner product spaces have a naturally defined norm based upon the inner product of the space itself that does satisfy the parallelogram equality. X equals X X Display style x equals sqrt langle x x wrangle. This is well defined by the non-negativity axiom of the definition of inner product space. The norm is thought of as the length of the vector x. Directly from the axioms, we can prove the following: Cauchy-Schwarz inequality for x y elements of v x. Y X Y 
Display style Langle X Y Wrangle L E Q X C D O T Y with equality if and only if X and Y are linearly dependent. This is one of the most important inequalities in mathematics. It is also known in the Russian mathematical literature as the Cauchy Bunyakovsky Schwartz inequality, orthogonality, the geometric interpretation of the inner product in terms of angle and length, motivates much of the geometric terminology we use in regard to these spaces. Indeed, an immediate consequence of the Cauchy Schwartz inequality is that it justifies defining the angle between two non zero vectors x and y denoted in the case f equals r by the identity x y equals r cos x y x y Display style angle x y equals r cos frac langle x y wrangle x c d o t y. We assume the value of the angle is chosen to be in the interval zero pi. This is in analogy to the situation in two-dimensional Euclidean space. In the case f equals c, the angle in the interval 0, pi, 2 is typically defined by x y equals r cos x y x y Display style angle x y equals r cos frac langle x y wrangle x c d o t y. Correspondingly, we will say that non-zero vectors x and y of v are orthogonal if and only if their inner product is zero. Homogeneity for x an element of v and r a scalar r x equals R x display style r c d o t x equals r c d o t x. The homogeneity property is completely trivial to prove. Triangle inequality for x y elements of v x plus y x plus y display style x plus y leq x plus y the last two properties show the function defined is indeed a norm because of the triangle inequality and because of axiom 2 we see that is a norm which turns v into a normed vector space and hence also into a metric space the most important inner product spaces are the ones which are complete with respect to this metric, they are called Hilbert spaces. Every inner product V space is a dense subspace of some Hilbert space. This Hilbert space is essentially uniquely determined by V and is constructed by completing V. Pythagorean theorem whenever x, y are in V and x, y equals 0, then, x 2 plus y 2 equals x plus y 2 display style x caret 2 plus y caret 2 equals x plus y caret 2 the proof of the identity requires only expressing the definition of norm in terms of the inner product and multiplying out, using the property of additivity of each component. The name Pythagorean theorem arises from the geometric interpretation of this result as an analogue of the theorem in synthetic geometry. Note that the proof of the Pythagorean theorem in synthetic geometry is considerably more elaborate because of the paucity of underlying structure. 
In this sense, the synthetic Pythagorean theorem, if correctly demonstrated, is deeper than the version given above. An induction on the Pythagorean theorem yields, if x1 xn are orthogonal vectors, that is, xj, xk equals 0 for distinct indices j, k, then i equals 1 n x i 2 equals i equals 1 n x i 2 Display style sum underscore i equals one carrot n x underscore i carrot two equals left sum underscore i equals one carrot n x underscore i right carrot two. In view of the Cauchy-Schwarz inequality, we also note that is continuous from v times v to f. This allows us to extend Pythagoras' theorem to infinitely many summons. Parseval's identity: suppose v is a complete inner product space. If x k are mutually orthogonal vectors in v, then i equals one infinity x i 2 equals i equals 1 infinity x i 2 Display style sum underscore i equals one carrot inf t x underscore i carrot two equals left sum underscore i equals one carrot inf t x underscore i right carrot two. Provided the infinite series on the left is convergent, completeness of the space is needed to ensure that the sequence of partial sums s k equals i equals 1 k x i display style s underscore k equals sum underscore i equals 1 caret k x underscore i which is easily shown to be a cauchy sequence is convergent Parallelogram law for x, y elements of v, x plus y two plus x minus y two equals two x two plus 2 y 2 display style x plus y caret 2 plus x y caret 2 equals 2 x caret 2 plus 2 y caret 2 the parallelogram law is in fact a necessary and sufficient condition for the existence of a inner product corresponding to a given norm if it holds, the inner product is defined by the polarization identity x plus y two equals x two plus y two plus two x y display style x plus y caret 2 equals x caret 2 plus y caret 2 plus 2 re langle x y wrangle which is a form of the law of cosines topic orthonormal sequences 
Let V be a finite dimensional inner product space of dimension n. Recall that every basis of V consists of exactly n linearly independent vectors. Using the Gram-Schmidt process we may start with an arbitrary basis and transform it into an orthonormal basis. That is, into a basis in which all the elements are orthogonal and have unit norm. In symbols, a basis e1 n is orthonormal if a, ej Zero for every i does not equal j and a a a equals one for each i. This definition of orthonormal basis generalizes to the case of infinite dimensional inner product spaces in the following way: Let V be any inner product space. Then a collection e equals e alpha alpha element of a display style e equals left e underscore alpha right underscore alpha in a is a basis for V if the subspace of V generated by finite linear combinations of elements of E is dense in V in the norm induced by the inner product. We say that E is an orthonormal basis for V if it is a basis and E alpha E beta equals zero Display style left Langle E underscore alpha E underscore beta right Wrangle equals zero If alpha does not equal beta and E alpha, E alpha Topic E alpha one for all alpha beta element of A using an infinite dimensional analog of the Gram Schmidt process one may show theorem any separable inner product space V has an orthonormal basis Using the Hausdorff maximal principle and the fact that in a complete inner product space orthogonal projection onto linear subspaces is well defined, one may also show that theorem. Any complete inner product space V has an orthonormal basis. The two previous theorems raise the question of whether all inner product spaces have an orthonormal basis. The answer, it turns out is negative. This is a non-trivial result, and is proved below. The following proof is taken from Halmos's A. Hilbert Space Problem book see the references. Parseval's identity leads immediately to the following theorem. Theorem let V be a separable inner product space and ek k an orthonormal basis of V then the map x e k x k element of n display style x mapsto bigl langle e underscore k x wrangle big r underscore k in math b n is an isometric linear map vl2 with a dense image this theorem can be regarded as an abstract form of Fourier series, in which an arbitrary orthonormal basis plays the role of the sequence of trigonometric polynomials. Note that the underlying index set can be taken to be any countable set and in fact any set whatsoever, provided L2 is defined appropriately, as is explained in the article Hilbert space. In particular, we obtain the following result in the theory of Fourier series Theorem. Let V be the inner product space C minus pi, pi. Then the sequence indexed on set of all integers of continuous functions E K T 
equals e i k t 2 pi display style e underscore k t equals frac e caret i k t s q r t 2 pi is an orthonormal basis of the space C minus pi pi with the L two inner product. The mapping f one two pi minus pi pi f t e minus i K T D T K element of Z display style f mapsto frac one sqrt two pi left int underscore pi carrot pi f t e carrot i k t mathrm d t right underscore k in math b z is an isometric linear map with dense image. Orthogonality of the sequence k follows immediately from the fact that if k does not equal j, then minus pi pi e minus i j minus k T D T equals zero. Display style int underscore pi carrot pi e carrot i j k t mathrm d t equals zero. Normality of the sequence is by design, that is, the coefficients are so chosen so that the norm comes out to one. Finally the fact that the sequence has a dense algebraic span, in the inner product norm, follows from the fact that the sequence has a dense algebraic span, this time in the space of continuous periodic functions on minus pi, pi with the uniform norm. This is the content of the Weierstrass theorem on the uniform density of trigonometric polynomials. Topic: Operators on inner product spaces. Several types of linear maps A from an inner product space V to an inner product space W are of relevance. Continuous linear maps, i.e., A is linear and continuous with respect to the metric defined above, or equivalently, A is linear and the set of non-negative reals, ax, where x ranges over the closed unit ball of V, is bounded. Symmetric linear operators, i.e., A is linear and ax, y equals x, A for all x, y in V Isometries, i.e. A is linear and ax A. Topic x y for all x y in V, or equivalently A is linear and ax x for all x in V. All isometries are injective. Isometries are morphisms between inner product spaces, and morphisms of real inner product spaces are orthogonal transformations compare with orthogonal matrix. Isometrical isomorphisms, i.e., A is an isometry which is surjective and hence bijective. Isometrical isomorphisms are also known as unitary operators compare with unitary matrix from the point of view of inner product space theory there is no need to distinguish between two spaces which are isometrically isomorphic the spectral theorem provides a canonical form for symmetric unitary and more generally normal operators on finite dimensional inner product spaces 
A generalization of the spectral theorem holds for continuous normal operators in Hilbert spaces. Topic: <laughs> Generalizations. Any of the axioms of an inner product may be weakened, yielding generalized notions. The generalizations that are closest to inner products occur where bilinearity and conjugate symmetry are retained, but positive definiteness is weakened. <laughs> Degenerate inner products If V is a vector space and, a semi-definite sesquilinear form, then the function x equals x x display style x equals sqrt langle x x wrangle makes sense and satisfies all the properties of norm except that x topic 0 does not imply x 0 such a functional is then called a semi norm we can produce an inner product space by considering the quotient w topic v x x 0 the sesquilinear form factors through w this construction is used in numerous contexts. The Gelf and Neimark Siegel construction is a particularly important example of the use of this technique. Another example is the representation of semi definite kernels on arbitrary sets. <laughs> non degenerate conjugate symmetric forms Alternatively, one may require that the pairing be a non-degenerate form, meaning that for all non-zero x there exists some y such that x, y does not equal zero, though y need not equal x. In other words, the induced map to the dual space V V is injective. This generalization is important in differential geometry. A manifold whose tangent spaces have an inner product is a Riemannian manifold, while if this is related to non degenerate conjugate symmetric form, the manifold is a pseudo Riemannian manifold. By Sylvester's law of inertia, just as every inner product is similar to the dot product with positive weights on a set of vectors, every non-degenerate conjugate symmetric form is similar to the dot product with non-zero weights on a set of vectors, and the number of positive and negative weights are called respectively the positive index and negative index. Product of vectors in Minkowski space is an example of indefinite inner product, although, technically speaking, it is not an inner product according to the standard definition above. Minkowski space has four dimensions and indices 3 and 1 assignment of plus and minus to them differs depending on conventions. Purely algebraic statements, ones that do not use positivity, usually only rely on the non-degeneracy, the injective homomorphism VV, and thus hold more generally. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Related products. The term inner product is opposed to outer product, which is a slightly more general opposite. Simply, in coordinates, the inner product is the product of a 1 times n covector with an n times 1 vector, yielding a 1 times 1 matrix a scalar, while the outer product is the product of an m times 1 vector with a 1 times n covector, yielding an m times n matrix. 
Note that the outer product is defined for different dimensions, while the inner product requires the same dimension. If the dimensions are the same, then the inner product is the trace of the outer product trace only being properly defined for square matrices. Inner quip. Inner is horizontal times vertical and shrinks down, outer is vertical times horizontal and expands out. More abstractly, the outer product is the bilinear map W times V hom v w sending a vector and a covector to a rank 1 linear transformation simple tensor of type 1, 1, while the inner product is the bilinear evaluation map V times Vf given by evaluating a covector on a vector. The order of the domain vector spaces here reflects the covector vector distinction. The inner product and outer product should not be confused with the interior product and exterior product, which are instead operations on vector fields and differential forms, or more generally on the exterior algebra. As a further complication, in geometric algebra the inner product and the exterior Grassmann product are combined in the geometric product the Clifford product in a Clifford algebra the inner product sends two vectors, one vectors to a scalar a zero vector, while the exterior product sends two vectors to a bivector two vector, and in this context the exterior product is usually called the outer alternatively wedge product the inner product is more correctly called a scalar product in this context as the non-degenerate quadratic form in question need not be positive definite need not be an inner product topic see also space mathematics semi inner product normed vector space energetic space dual space biorthogonal system bilinear form equals equals notes <laughs>